Hello, my name is Raymond Carter. I'm the lead gardener here at Ledoux Topiary Gardens. Now, when your doctor prescribes something to you, their intention is to improve your overall health. In much the same way, a prescribed burn is intended to improve the overall health of a meadow ecosystem. Low intensity fire chemically converts nutrients that are bound in dead plant tissue into more available forms almost immediately. This creates very fertile soil. Then, combined with the charred black earth, which absorbs the sun's heat, the soil is warm, there's no vegetation, and it's very fertile. This creates the perfect environment for seed germination, which means uh, more diverse species can grow here. In prairies and meadows, natural fires caused by lightning strikes, for example, will clear out young developing woody plants. This is important because those woody plants will grow up into trees and they will outcompete the meadow plants for resources like sunlight or water and eventually those meadows could turn into a young forest. In other words, doing a prescribed burn to mimic those fires is a way to keep our meadow a meadow. But what about the perennials? Well, because the fire is low intensity and fast moving, they actually survive the process because the heat never gets hot enough or penetrates deep enough to actually injure the root system. So they'll all push out fresh new foliage in the spring. They're actually going to grow a lot more vigorously, which means more resources for the other wildlife that lives in the meadow. There's a lot of planning that goes into executing a meadow burn, including proper permitting, notifying the authorities, and then waiting for the exact right moisture conditions and wind conditions to safely execute this project. Don't try this at home.